I'm gonna be showing you, you know, kind of like different ways to play claw and like how to adjust. It's a few different ways you can play claw. You can either play on the right side or on the left side, or you can play both. The reason why you'd play double claw is just because you'd have access to do like everything. You wouldn't have to move your thumbsticks at all, but it will take a lot more time to get used to. I recommend just either learning claw on the right hand first, and then once you're comfortable with that, then you can kind of like switch over depending on like how you want to play claw. But when it comes to playing right hand claw, there's a few ways you can also do it. You can put two fingers on your trigger and your bumper, and then you can put your index finger on your face buttons. Personally, I think this is the, the best one if you um if you never played claw before. Simply because you just keep access to like every button. And I missed every single shot. Wow. Kind of like move your pinky around to like relieve some of that like that pain or that uh that tightness in your hand. So like the pinky can go like anywhere. So like I can have it under the trigger or like all the way down here. Most of this ability should come from putting your right hand strongly against the right side of the controller. Usually you won't have a lot more like power, like uh, control on your right stick. Like it comes a lot harder to press right stick in and left stick in. Cause it's just not as enough support on the controller. Another way you can put your middle finger in the middle of R1 yeah. and R2. Then you can keep your index finger on the face buttons. And whenever you want to shoot, you can either use your middle finger or you can bring down your index finger. This is probably like the worst way to play simply because your right finger is just always like cramped in this position. The way I recommend how to play is just to put your index on R1 yeah. and then anytime you need to actually press claw, you just bring it up for a second. So usually when you're playing, you'd play normally, but let's say you want to reload, you could bring up your index finger for a second. And if you need to shoot, you can bring your middle finger up and then you can just go back to normal. In my opinion, this is like a lot better than like always having your index finger, regardless of whichever way you choose how to play, whether it's like this or it's like this. Um, you wanna go into your game and make sure you go onto the customized layout. If you're not using this, if you're using like a, you know, like a already predetermined one, just, just switch to this one and then copy it. So you can just change everything how you want it. So for me, when I'm playing Claw, um, circle and x is like really difficult to reach so like i keep these buttons on like useless things so like sprint slash toggle zoom is pretty useless if you have auto sprint on and meleeing is like circumstantial like i can claw x but circle is almost like harder so then i put my tactical ability on y and I have important functions for my left stick. So that's like my toggle weapon. If you want some general settings, I know mine looks pretty wonky. Uh, put aim down sight and attack on LB, RB. These are just a lot faster than triggers. Even if you have like the hair trigger, like dead zone off, it just feels weird to like have to reset to shoot again. So like, unless you get used to like tapping your right trigger like this to like, tap fire i recommend just you know, putting it on r1 i have jump and crouch on rt and lt it's just a lot easier to like think of it in my mind to hold rt and jump with like the other trigger you don't have to copy my settings but the whole point of it is just to find settings that work for like how you want to play claw it's all personal preference i definitely recommend like having crouch jump switching weapons on binds that you can press without having to put your hands off the thumbsticks. But um, that's pretty much the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And